Welcome back to my channel guys. As you saw in the title, we are going to be playing with some new makeup. I'm super excited. I haven't played with some new makeup in like a hot minute. Um, my rash is very quickly going away. So it's still with us, but it's a lot better. If you are new, I hope that you stay. We would love to have you. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. That way you will not miss any future uploads. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That would help me so much as well support this channel. All right, let's get into it. So I'm just gonna very quickly put my hair back so that way we can focus on our face. All right, now that we look super beautiful. So I'm super excited because we have tons, well, I wanna say tons. I do have a ton of new makeup to try, but in this video we're gonna you know not overdo it which i almost have a full face so i do have a new primer and setting spray from wet and wild i love their setting sprays and i love their primers so i'm super excited to try that out as well as we're going to try the new elf camo powder foundation i've been dying to try this out it's been sitting in my collection for a while now um like i said i do have a lot of makeup to try so i'm super excited I did get one that I think would be my shade and then I also got a like darker one because I was like maybe we can use this as a bronzer. My way of thinking is that this is going to last a bit longer in the summertime with the heat and everything so I'm excited to give it a try. And then for blush we are going to be dipping our hands into the Matte Manoy Butter Blush and this is supposed to be new. It's the Mauve Matte blush and I am just super excited to try this out and then we have three new products from makeup revolution this is the revolution and Disney the Lion King collab yeah, so I was super excited to see this in Target I freaking love the Lion King um, it's one of my favorite Disney movies and I was super excited to see this so I didn't pick up everything in the collection because I don't need everything but I did pick up the palette this is the jungle princess palette I love the colors it reminds me of spring and summer and it's something that I really don't have a whole lot of in my collection and then I also picked up the Lion King um, highlighter this one is in the shade Future King of the Jungle. And then this beautiful gloss. It's like a pinky shimmery gloss. This one is in the shade New Era. And yeah, it's also part of the Lion King collection. So thanks to my mom actually for picking these products up for me. I got to pick them out, but she did buy them for me because um, she just loves to spoil me. Everything else will be just makeup that I have already tried in the past. Um, so let's get started. So to prime, we're gonna be using the Refined Pores Prime Focus Primer. This is like a serum primer. It's supposed to have lavender, dragon fruit, and and then it has bakuchoil. I don't know what that is. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in my hands. Ooh, ooh, it really, mm, it really smells like like lavender. I love how these primers really make my skin feel though. I just love them so much. These primers always make my skin feel so hydrated and plump. Seriously the best. I'm not a fan of the smell though. And to be completely honest, I mean, I don't know if it's over time that it's supposed to help with your pores. A pore refining water-based serum formulated with that B word, dragon fruit, lavender, rose water, green tea extracts, blurs and softens the appearance of skin as it preps and primes for extended makeup wear so I think right off the bat it's supposed to blur I don't really see any blurring happening I'm also not a fan of the smell so I don't know if this is like my favorite one that they have but I do like the feeling of this primer all right so I'm gonna let that settle into my skin just for a couple of seconds just so that way it has time to sink into my skin before we move into foundation so for foundation we're going to be using the elf camo powder foundation mine is in the shade light 210 neutral so i'm hoping that this is going to be my shade so it does come with a little puff which would be cute for touch-ups on the go i'm not going to use it because i like i always talk about how i don't like those puffs so i'm just gonna probably use it with a brush I almost forgot to put concealer on first because we're going to be going right in with the powder. So let me put on some concealer. I do have a new um, 16 hour camo concealer 
This is the matte one. This one's in the shade medium neutral. I got rid of my other one because it was just way too light for my skin tone. And then I think I got another one that was too dark. So I'm hoping that this one works out. I forgot to wet a sponge. So I have not used this concealer in a while. And I rebought it because, yeah, this one doesn't stink. My other concealers I had to get rid of because they just smelled and they were not performing good at all. And I was like, I remember liking this formula. I don't understand. And I think they were just really old. So I went with the matte one because that way I don't have to set my under eye. Maybe like throughout the day we might need to like pat out any creases. But for the most part, this eye here is going to look a little dry and creepy because of my under eye situation. But this one over here is looking pretty good. Now we're just going to go ahead and dip into this foundation. I'm so excited. Oh, if you guys see my band-aid situation, it's because I burned myself last night accidentally. So be careful when you're cooking, guys. So is this supposed to be camouflage imperfections and even out skin tone with this primer infused talc free foundation. The lightweight powder is finely milled to provide long lasting and buildable coverage for an airbrush finish. Use included sponge to build coverage for an airbrushed finish. So I'm using a brush because I don't like that cakey look that most of those like little sponges give you. I think this is a nice like super lightweight powder foundation. I think this would be nice to put over top of like, um, you know, lighter coverage um, foundations or skin tints to just add a little bit more coverage. Um, it's nice on its own too, don't get me wrong, and it really does look blurred and really nice, but if you want more coverage, I would probably spot conceal underneath, but this is definitely like nice, and as much as I feel like I'm building it to get a little bit more coverage, it's not looking cakey, and it's not feeling heavy or weird on my skin, which is great. Now I know what the hype was. It, it lets your skin look like skin. It doesn't look powdery. It looks so healthy and like, wow. Around the nose, it looks a little, like you can tell, I, it doesn't look bad. It just, you can tell I have makeup on, but I am really liking that foundation. All right, so next we're gonna bronze up our skin. So I'm gonna use the same one. I'm hoping that this will work. This is in the shade Tan 425 Neutral, and this is what this shade looks like. Let's see what this does. In person, actually I really do like it. I really do like this as a bronzer as well. Um, I think you just have to be a little cautious with it because it is a foundation, um, so I feel like you know, if you put too much, it might look like too much, but with a very, very light hand, it works very beautiful, it has that same sheen, that same glow. Um, it's still beautiful. So I am so happy that I actually went ahead and got it to try it as a bronzer because it just looks so, so good. Next, we're gonna jump into blush. This is the Physicians Formula Moabi Matte Blush. This is what it looks like. So we have our little blush. This blush looked so beautiful. And so I was super excited to grab it. I'll just kind of keep it towards the back. The smell though of the Matte Manoi products. I do like this shade. It looks really, really beautiful. It kind of like reminds me of summer and just like being a little burnt. Um, so this is a beautiful shade. I just don't like the smell. Like I wish they would just cut back a little bit on this fragrance. And now we're gonna jump into the highlighter. So this is the Lion King and Makeup Revolution highlighter. Like I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like the Lion King uh, stamp on it. It looks so cute. Like when the, it almost looks like the picture of the, like when the monkey drew him like on the tree when he like realized he was alive. So we're gonna go in with a very light hand. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit too dark for me right now. Let's go ahead. Okay. 
it's not bad all right so once you like get it onto like your brush and your skin it doesn't come across as dark which is good and whatever's left i'm gonna just kind of put everywhere else Ooh, these this feels super buttery but you can see like on my finger how like sorry i'm not trying to flip anybody off um see how that like just looks like orangey and dark but on the skin you can see it doesn't come across like that so i don't know it's kind of weird but i like it all right so i'm gonna go and set my face this is the wet and wild take your vitamins it says this vitamin packed primer water prep skin for makeup and refreshes with an ultra fine mist loaded with super nutrients including vitamin b3 b5 c and f as well as vegan collagen hyaluronic acid fermented rice this nourishing cocktail helps boost skin's radiance hydration and balance so this is not necessarily a setting spray it seems like it's more of like a prepping step but um but that's okay i love the way it smells it smells so good and the mist is so fine sometimes wet and wild sprays can be very like harsh and just like spitty but this one was really 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 fine um, and I really really like that. So this is more like a priming water. I'm gonna quickly do some brows I'm just gonna do my usual right now. I'm just using the precision brow color uh, color pop pencil and This one is in the shade black and brown and then I'm gonna go in with my very gunky the brow glue from NYX um, It looks gross and I need to get another one So yeah, so I'm gonna quickly do my brows off camera and then I will be right back so we can go ahead and move on to eyeshadow All right, so brows are done. So next we're gonna jump into this palette. This palette just Screams spring and I don't know about you guys, but I am ready for some spring We just had a snowstorm here in PA not so long ago like two days ago. I think it was I'm over it. Okay, we're mid-march. We need some spring weather. All right, so the palette is Super super cute. You have your mirror and then this is the color So I have not done purple on my eyes in a really long time. I still love purple. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this shade here, Royal. The first shade that I went in with was True Love, and then I went um, in my transition to Serafina. Serafina. Um, and now I'm going to go into Royal. So the first shade, which was True Love, was a bit... They're all a bit powdery, but the shade True Love was a bit chalky-like. So it kind of went on a little patchy. It wasn't really giving me what I was looking for. Um, but the shade Serafina was actually pretty good. So I'm hoping that Royal is just as good. And pastel purples, I feel, are not like the easiest to do. So I'm really trying to just load up my brush here. I feel like I'm still not quite getting what I want. I really want like a nice drop of that pastel purple and even this shade it's very similar to the shade true love where it's just very powdery very chalky so i'm gonna go in with the shade queen and ooh, i thought the shade queen was gonna have a little bit more of a like shimmery oh this makes me so sad i was hoping that this palette was gonna be really really good so it has like a nice little sheen but it's not exactly the what i thought it was going to have let me go into main gal i feel like main gal is like what i thought the purple was going to be like but yeah main gal is actually like a almost like a shadow topper it's not very like it's not fully pigmented if you know what i mean if that makes any sense it's more glitter these shades i was just so excited for because they were really screaming spring to me that green is really really nice that is right hand and then best friend yeah best friend is lacking a little bit best friend um so yeah so i really like that green though right hand is a really nice color i'm sure the color that would go nice with it as a backdrop lioness which is in the middle here i feel like that one would probably be very similar to royal where it's probably not going to come through yeah this palette is very just meh it's not quite giving me 
what I was hoping for, which makes me so sad. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna go into Main Gal, which is this beautiful like blue. And I'm gonna put that right in the inner, just to give me a little something, a little brightness. All right, so that's all we're gonna do for the eyes. This palette is really lacking quality here. Um, which it makes me so sad because I was super excited for this palette. It's definitely workable, but if would I recommend it? No. All right, so we are moving on. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Lash Beats Mascara and then I'm gonna use the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner, um, and then we will come back for lips. All right, so I do have some mascara and some liner on. So for lips, I'm just going to use the Lion King um, Lip Gloss from Revolution, the one I showed you earlier. I love the packaging, it looks super, super cute. So I'm just gonna very quickly line. This lip liner is getting so old. It's one of my favorites though. So I just wanted to give them a quick line and then oh, the, I love the packaging. The lid feels like so, not weird, but it's so cool. But anyways, so I'm excited to use this because it's such a beautiful color. Ooh. It's so glossy. It feels, it's a thicker lip gloss. But it's not like it's not gonna come across super super pink I want to say it comes across almost almost sheer but it's not super opaque where you're gonna have like this color on your lips as you can see it's not like that at all I like the smell of it too it kind of smells like some sort of like candy all right so that is everything I want to say we had more hits than misses so very quick rundown of what we tried today what we like and what we can pass on. I primed my skin with the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer. This is the Refined Pores One Purple Serum. Not a fan of this one, only because I don't really like the way it smells. It smells a little bit too much like lavender essential oils, like, like straight up essential oil that you would put in your diffuser. So not a fan of that. Um, and if you're getting it for the purpose of refining your pores and kind of blurring, it didn't do that. Um, if anything, these primers are really good for like rehydrating your skin, adding plumpness to your skin. I really am a fan of these primers for that reason. As far as like pore blurring, I really didn't see that. So I do have quite a few of these types of primers in my collection already. So I'm kind of sad that it's not doing what it says it's, it's supposed to do because that's the reason why I bought it. Um, otherwise, I really didn't need to have another one in my collection. So I might use it up. I might pass it on. I'm not sure. So it was a little eh. I did, however, like the Vitamin Super Nutrient Face Mist. This one smelled really refreshing. It would be great to use in the summertime. It's not really um, advertised as a setting spray. It's more to nourish and hydrate, brighten the skin, prep it for makeup. So if you were going to try one or the other, I would try the, the, the prepping mist versus the primer serum especially if you already have one of these in your collection i don't think you need another the l foundation i really really enjoyed using this and i'm super excited to continue to use this um, i enjoyed it using it as a bronzer and as a foundation so i recommend if you haven't tried this and you're interested in trying it if you want to use it as a light setting powder to you know add a little bit more coverage i think it would be beautiful that way um, as well as just a foundation on its own. It is a bit, it's of course a little bit lighter coverage than what you would get from like, you know, their camo CC cream or BB cream, whatever that was. But um, yeah, both of these were beautiful on the skin and I definitely recommend them. I just love how it actually adds blurriness to my skin. It almost looks like I have like a little filter. It's absolutely insane. So I really do like that. The blush I really do like as well. It's very, very pigmented. I think this would be such a beautiful blush for like spring and summer. Um, it kind of just gives you that little like burnt toasty cheeks. Um, so I really do like the blush. I just don't like the strong Manoy smell. I mean, it's not even probably a Manoy scent, but anyways, I just don't like the scent that they put in these products. Um, the bronzer has it as well. I'm not a huge fan of the scent, but as far as the actual blush and formula, pigmentation, I love it all. So I say give it a try if you're interested. Um, but if you don't like anything highly fragranced in your makeup or on your skin, your face, um, I would say probably pass then. I don't smell it anymore, like it's not lingering on my skin, but just when you put it on, it's just like, 
Ugh. And then last but not least, the Lion King collection. I really do like the lip gloss. The lip gloss is really nice. That is something I do see myself wearing again, um, as well as the highlighter. The highlighter feels super, super buttery and looks great on the skin. So if you are interested in picking something up from this collection, um, out of everything that I tried, these are the two products that I, I do think is worth giving it a try if you're interested. Um, I don't know, I can't speak for the other palettes, but I'm so glad I didn't pick up the bigger palette and I picked up a smaller palette. This, I'm just actually sad. Like there's some products that I try that if it's not good, I'm like, all right, it's not good. But this, I was really looking forward to liking, um, not only because it's Lion King and I love the Lion King, um, movie but also because again I don't really have a palette like this in my collection I was planning on doing so many fun spring and summer looks with this palette you know on my channel just in real life um, but they just didn't really wow me I made it work but I probably won't reach for it a whole lot because I know that it's just gonna make me sad so I'm gonna hold on to it for right now um, but yeah I do not recommend that palette at all. So, all right guys, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up as well as subscribe if you haven't yet. I know you want to. Don't forget guys, beauty is inside and out. Stay true and be you. Until next time, bye.